In this video, I'm going to show you how we installed our Parsec Mobile 7-in-1 antenna on the roof of our Momentum 397THR. I plan on installing the antenna leads. The actually, the router is already installed up here above of the kitchen bar area. Um, it's so you can't. It's not really visible, which is how I like it. But uh, that's the area where we're going to have the antenna leads come through directly into the router, and then I have the router, the PepWave router hooked into the one control system bypassing the LCI router so I can connect to the RV through the internet no matter where I'm at. The only two things I can't operate through the internet is the slides and the awnings but everything else I can control anywhere I'm at. Um, this way I don't have to use the LCI data plan I, I use my own uh, Verizon plan because uh, the LCI plan is rather expensive and works like a charm okay let's get up up to the ceiling okay so I have the one and a half inch hole drilled in the roof and now I just need to drill a pilot hole all the way through so I know where to drill from the top this could be kind of scary but has to be done. You also kind of want to feel around make sure there's not any wires or anything that can get um, get caught up in your drill bit because that wouldn't be good. Just so make sure you got space all the way around. Okay, here we go. That's it for down here for now. So let's take it up on the roof. Okay, so I've drilled a one and a half inch diameter hole through the roof. Um, my original pilot hole was right here, and unfortunately that's too close to this vent, co uh, vent cap. So I moved the outside hole back about five inches, so four or five inches, so this antenna um, will clear this. Uh, which isn't really a problem, I just have to run the wires down and then over and then down. Um, but if you're doing this on your 397, um, you might want to drill that inside hole back a little further from the wall than I did. But it'll be fine for me. Alright, the next thing I need to do is just clear out the insulation and fish the wires down and through the hole. Got them all. Let's go inside. And let's go back inside and see what we got. Okay, so we have success. I got all the wires fished through and attach the um, antenna leads. Take these antennas out and attach the leads to where those are. The well, I don't know if you can see that. This down here is the old LCI router, which we're not using anymore. Um, so that's, that's totally disconnected and I've, I've also removed the antenna from the roof as well to so I have more space for when I plan to do, um, solar panels in the future. 
I need as much room up there as possible, no no clutter. So I went ahead and removed it and sealed the sealed the hole up. Okay, so now we just need to mount the antenna back to the roof. The antenna came with uh, this backer nut and washer. I'm thinking that's more for pole mounting. Um, I'm not going to be able to put that on because there's no way I can really access it from underneath. This uh, 3M tape it does a really good job at, at holding it down so I really don't think the backer nut and washer is necessary anyways. Plus, I plan on putting a bead of die core around the perimeter once it's installed, and that'll help hold it in as well. Alright, just need to clean the area with some isopropyl alcohol and then peel the backing off and mount it on the roof. Now that the area is clean, all I need to do is peel the backing off and press it into place. But before I do that, as an extra precaution, I'm going to add some um, white, well it doesn't have to be white, uh, silicone caulking around the perimeter of the hole and then over that little pilot hole that I uh, drilled originally. That'll just give it an extra layer of protection. Um, it's probably not needed, but you know, peace of mind. Another thing about these is you want to make sure that you don't mount it near your AC unit because it will cause interference. Uh, the spin cap it's just plastic, so it's not going to make a difference. Oh yeah, that's under dead. That's that's not going anywhere, so I'm probably not going to need. Okay, now we're just going to put the bead in. self-leveling lap sealant.
Okay, we should be good to go. As far as up here, I think we're done up here. Oh, by the way, right, right there is where the old antenna was. And uh, I've already sealed it with uh, roof sealing tape, but where the hole is, I'm gonna go ahead and die core this thin metal plate um, over top of it, just, you know, extra, extra measure. All right, let's go back inside. Okay, now for the moment of truth. So first we gotta unhook these. External, and or these internal antennas. Because we won't be using these anymore. here um, I'll probably come back later and put a uh, some kind of grommet around it um, maybe uh, some kind of wire management thing like you would see on a computer desk just to make it look neater and might help protect the wires a little bit even though it's not sharp or anything all right well let's go down the ladder and try the speed test and see if all this was worth it Okay, I'm going to try a speed test here with the antenna installed. Um, the Pepwave routers, they use a technology called uh, speed fusion bonding, which will combine, it, basically what it does, it, it'll combine all your incoming connections into one stream to give you even faster speeds. Uh, so you can see we have, right now we're connected to Verizon on the cellular um, connection and connected to wife my home Wi-Fi because uh, we're parked by the house on five gigahertz uh, the 2.4 isn't connected right now but what speed fusion does it combines all these into one signal so I'm gonna do a just a short little speed test here um, using the speed fusion and then we'll see what kind of speeds we're getting. And this is upload speeds right here. Um, so that's pretty good. I mean, it's in the mid 20s, it looks like. And um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what it says. Test on overall is. Uh, 23.8 megabits per second. This is upload speed. Not bad. All right, let's do a test on download. And yeah, these these are really good speeds. That's a much much improvement over. The internal antennas that I had before so yeah I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy with this um, so we're getting about 83 megabits per second download speed all right I bought the Parsec antenna from PCNation.com um, it had the best price that I could find online and they shipped it really quick 
and they even called me uh, to let me know the status of my order, uh, just to let me know, you know, that it was being shipped and when it would arrive. So it was really good service and really good price. These are the specs on the antenna, uh, just in case you're interested. The router that I have from Pepwave, I was lucky to find on eBay for a pretty decent price. This model was actually discontinued. Um, I heard it was due to um, microchip shortages or something like that, but they have newer models out now that can do 5G, but this is plenty fast enough for me, uh, um, and the new models cost quite a bit more. And um, one word of advice, if you do find a, a router on eBay, make sure that in the pictures that they do not show the serial number of the device because there are people that will go on there and get the serial number and they'll register to the, the device um, on their system and it locks it to where you can't use the speed fusion. I had that problem when I first bought it. Uh, luckily, I was able to contact the person who had the serial number and they were kind enough to remove it. I don't know if it was because they got caught or whatever, but um, he did remove it for me and I was able to free up the device and register it on my account so no one else can use it. Uh, just keep that in mind if you buy one used or off eBay. Just make sure that the serial number is not out there in the public. That wraps it up for this video. If you like what you see and you'd like to see more of it, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell to be notified when we release new videos.